Okay, this is going to be a lesson on two different concepts. First of all, <clears throat> what you notice here is we have a percent, but it is a fractional percent. We have eight and two fifths percent. So we need to understand what this sign means. Percent is really two words, two word parts. Per meaning divide by, cent meaning one hundred. So think about those two word parts, per divided by, you've heard us say the word per in a lot of things like miles per hour and a lot of rates like that. You've heard the, the cent part and how many cents in a dollar, 100, how many years in a century, uh, 100, how many feet is a centipede supposed to have, 100, how many uh, Roman soldiers was a centurion in charge of, 100, a whole bunch of different word parts for that, 100 centimeters in a meter, which we'll be doing conversions. Um, so if we understand that, watch me write eight and two-fifths percent in a different way. I'm just going to write it per cent, divide by 100, which means I can get rid of that, and we just have what is called a complex fraction, and that's the other concept I want to deal with is concept frac uh, complex fraction. A complex fraction is a fraction inside of a fraction. <clears throat> this tends to confuse a lot of people. Uh, they try to read it as 8 and 2 fifths, 1 hundredths, and that's true, but really it's if we, if we go back to what I've said a thousand times, and hopefully in class you've already heard, two things on top of each other means divide, then we're really in a division problem. So my suggestion is to follow these rules. Write it horizontally instead of vertically. That's the problem, 8 and 2 fifths divided by 100. And now we're into a standard, a standard division problem of fractions. So to review how we do fractions, we're going to go to improper fraction. Multiply, add, so that'd be 40 plus 2 is 42 fifths. 100, how do you write that as an improper fraction? Well, you just write it over 1. 100 over 1, there's your division problem. And then we remember that we don't divide, we actually change this problem. The first part does not change, 42 over 5. <clears throat> We're going to change that division to multiplication. And we flip this to what is called the reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse. So we're going to flip it up and down to 1 over 100, and now we're in a multiplication problem. To review a multiplication problem, there is that special step that since these are going to all be factors of the top and these are going to be factors of the bottom, we could possibly cross simplify or cross reduce or cross cancel according to what your, your elementary teacher told you. Um, so let me do that. I see that 2 goes in here, so let me cross cancel that. And 2 goes in here and cross cancel that. And now we're ready to multiply across. 21 times 1 is 21, 5 times 50 is 250, and we have taken what was a fractional percent, recognized that it meant a ratio to 100, right, per 100, dividing by 100, we wrote it horizontally, then we followed the steps to divide fractions. We went to improper fraction, we flipped the second one to its reciprocal, changed to multiplication, looked across simplify, and then we multiply by the tops and bottoms, and there is your simplified fraction for what eight and two-fifths percent is.